I remember being in high school and a homie had his song on iTunes and it being the biggest deal ever. Like that was unheard of almost, especially for a local act and even more, especially of a local act where I was from in Benton, Arkansas. Everybody in the school had the ringtone. Like this was when ringtones was popping. I'm talking like 2010, 2009, and it was crazy. But now if you don't have your song on iTunes, Apple Music and Spotify is a large demographic of music listeners who don't take you serious. What I've learned in the past couple of weeks, man, a lot of people, you know, just talking to a lot of different artists is a lot of people still don't know how to distribute their music. And if they do know of services, they don't know what's the best one to choose. I'm going to talk about a few different services that will distribute your music worldwide. We'll break them down. Uh, I'll tell you which one I use and uh, I'll give you the facts on all the other ones. And uh, you can decide for yourself, but let's get it. All right, guys, it's your boy, Eddie Knight, man. Let's get through this journey together. So I'm be talking about four to five different sites that will distribute your music, some of them being really low cost and some of them being free. I'm going to start out with the first one that I use, uh, and that is DistroKid. DistroKid isn't paying me to make this video, guys. Uh, it's just something I really wanted to make because, like I said, I've been talking to a lot of people, and a lot of people do not know how to distribute their music in 2019, which is crazy to me. Uh, I used to use TuneCore, but I used DistroKid. I switched to DistroKid, and this is why. So DistroKid, you can pay $20 for one year. $20 a year, and you can upload any amount of music you want. You can upload a hundred singles, a hundred albums, and all you pay is one price, $20 a year. And I, that was enough to get me to switch, but I didn't just want to switch and it'd be a hoax and I not get all my money. All the royalties you make, you earn them. You have options to add your stuff to Shazam and Facebook and Instagram stories and all that for like an extra 99 cents, which is definitely worth it to me. But let's just go over some of the features that DistroKid has to offer. I'm going to pull it up on my iPad just so I don't miss anything. So DistroKid says they distribute to Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, Amazon, Google Play, Tidal, iHeartRadio. YouTube, Deezer, and 150 more um, songs and services. So pretty much around 200 different platforms DistroKid will distribu distribute your music to. Sorry. You'll keep 100% of the royalties. And like I said, you'll only pay $20 a year. and You'll upload unlimited songs, unlimited albums. And also what I like about DistroKid is like, say there's a feature on the song. All I have to do is go to my splits and I can add different artists. And if I want to give them 10% of the song royalties or 15 or 20, 50, 50 split. If it's like a joint album, uh, then I can do that on DistroKid. It'll handle the splits for me that way. I don't have to pay the artist out and they don't have to um, do all this extra work and go through, register through BMI and ASCAP, which you still definitely should register through BMI and ASCAP. DistroKid will collect those royalties and split it however you decide to split it. And you can do that through DistroKid, which I think is super dope. And some of the bonus features, um, they distribute cover songs. So if you're a singer and you do a lot of covers and you don't know how to distribute covers, DistroKid will allow you, they'll give you a cover license if you want to uh, upload covers of songs. If that's one of your things, which is very dope um, if you're a singer. And I thought I do a lot of remix tapes. Um, I do one remix tape a year where I just go off on everybody's beats. And I've been thinking about trying uh, to upload it, but I don't know the technicalities of that because it's not necessarily a cover. It's just over somebody else's beat. So I have to look th through that a little bit more, but you know, they can do cover songs as well. They'll give you a cover song license. You get paid when people play your music on YouTube. So let's say somebody made a workout video and your song was playing in the background. Distro Kid will collect those royalties. You get instant Spotify verification, which is dope. As soon as I signed up and released my first song on District Kid, I got that little check mark by my name, um, that little blue check mark that everybody wants so bad. I got that blue check mark on my Spotify, which is dope because when I used to release through TuneCore, I did not have that. Now, I don't know if you can get it through TuneCore. I'm assuming you can, but um, I got that like as soon as I released my first song with DistroKid, which is dope. You can uh, manage your Apple Music page. And you can also manage your Spotify pages. So you can go in and look at your stats for your Apple Music plays and Spotify plays, followers and listeners. They also have a, um, a plus membership, which allows you to manage two artists. So like maybe you're a manager or maybe you're an artist and you have beats that you release and you have songs that you release and you don't want to release them on the same page. You can manage a beat profile and your music profile to let you manage two profiles. It's $39 a year, which is 
still a great price. You only pay that one thirty nine dollar price. You can uh, manage two profiles or if you had an old one, and you need to manage a new one. Um, you can do it that way. Two profiles. You can schedule releases because you can't do that on the regular one. You just it just pretty much puts them out instantly for the most part on the plus one, man. You can uh, set your own label as the release label. You can set release dates. There's a lot more features, man, and you should definitely check that out. If you're thinking about using DistroKid, I have a link in the description. I'll put it in the comments as well. It's my VIP link. You'll actually get 7% off of your first year if you go through that link and uh, register for DistroKid. So I'll leave that in the description. But let's move on to the next one. The second one is TuneCore. I did, like I said, I used to use TuneCore and TuneCore is dope. It has a lot to offer. It has a lot of very specific breakdowns and a lot of different services for artists. TuneCore is really dope, but um, it can get a little pricey. Um, but this is not to dis you know, discourage anyone from using TuneCore. If you have the money, it's definitely great. Like I said, you get a hella stats. They do just as many stores, just about maybe like 50 less, but they do all the huge stores and a lot more, but it can get pricey. So here's some of the pricing for TuneCore. So you want to distribute a single on TuneCore, it is $9.99 for that single. And also, if you want to distribute an album, it is $29.99 for that year, and it's $49 for every following year. That's where TuneCore kind of lost me, because like, you pay the one-time fee for the album, but then you have to pay $50 every year that album is out. So if you're not at a point where your album's collecting you a lot of revenue from streaming, man, you're going to be paying a lot just to keep this album up. Yeah, that's just something to think about. And with your singles, uh, $9.99, like I said, and for ringtones, I, I don't know if people still use ringtones, but for ringtones, it's $19.99 per ringtone. You do keep 100% of your royalties. And something that's dope about TuneCore is they also have songwriter services. So they can get you, um, like if you're not signed up with BMI or ASCAP, which are PROs, performance rights organizations who collect all your royalties, uh, TuneCore can do that for you if you're not signed up with one of those. That is really dope. You do keep 100% of your royalties with TuneCore as well. And they give you a, like a spreadsheet that you can check your growth on all your services. And some of the other services that TuneCore has to offer, like I was saying, if you're a songwriter, they offer, uh, they, um, offer publishing, which that's like your back end money um, for a one time fee of $75. They also offer like YouTube services for a $10 fee and they offer TuneCore Social, which is like a social platform that TuneCore has a $7.99. So yeah, TuneCore is dope, but it can get pretty pricey because if you put out five singles, that's $50 and you're going to have to pay $50 every year for those singles. If you put out two albums that year, that's $29 each for those albums and you're going to have to pay $49 for each of those albums every single year. So you can rack up a lot of uh, charges on TuneCore, but other than that, I love TuneCore. It's, it was just I, I, the the rate that I release music. I'm releasing a single a month. It's, it's just hard to. I, I can't pay that, man. I just can't. That's, that's, it feels like to me a little too much to be paying to release my music. So that's why I switched to DistroKid. But no knock to TuneCore. Great service. And a couple more things to think about TuneCore. They also offer things like, uh, you know, you, you can get merch made through TuneCore. You can get CDs and stuff printed up through TuneCore as well. And you can also promote through TuneCore as well. So they'll help you like do a promoting and marketing campaign if you have the money to do so. All right, guys. And the next one we have is CD Baby. Pretty similar in pricing when it comes to releasing a single and an album uh, with TuneCore. But it's actually a little bit cheaper with a standard. For a standard single release, you're looking at $9.95 to release that single. And for an album release, you're looking at $29 to release that album. So not bad at all. They distribute your music worldwide. They also allow you to make money off of YouTube monetization as well as you can sync your music for TV and film. If you don't know what that means, you can definitely look up some videos on that. And if you're thinking about getting your music on TV and film, CD Baby might be one you want to check out. And they also have a CDBaby.com store, which is a free option. So um, you can release your music through CDBaby.com and it's completely free. You don't have to sign up for a yearly. You don't have to pay to release a single or album. You can just release your music on cdbaby.com free. Um, but they don't distribute it worldwide. So it's just only on that store and you can drive your fans to buy and download from the store. Um, and you 
keep looks like 91% and they take 9%. So not bad, but it won't be on all the major platforms if you use the free option. So that's something to think about. And also they have a pro option for CD Baby. The pro option for CD Baby is a little bit more expensive and I'll get into that why it is. And the first option for your single, you're looking at $34. And for your album, you're looking at $49. They have three additional services that come with the pro option. They register with with a performance rights organization, which is a PRO. They'll basically collect your royalties from you know, if you're getting radio play uh, in your local city, um, you can register your song and make sure you're getting paid for that. If you're performing your song in clubs, you can make sure, you know, you get a little money from that as well. Uh, they also um, register your songs with global collection agencies. So if, like I said, if your songs are in movies, if your songs are in commercials, if your songs are in films and all these things, um, these collection agencies help you get all those royalties from that music. And also internet radio as well, which is a big thing, and you should be submitting to internet radio stations. Um, those collection agencies will be able to collect that money from your spins on those internet radio stations as well. And they also, you get your worldwide publishing royalties which is kind of similar just working with a PRO like BMI or ASCAP but they'll allow you to do that directly with them instead of releasing it through them then going to go to a separate organization to do it you can do it all with them on their pro pricing which honestly all the extras that that offer that's not a bad deal but if you're releasing a lot of songs per year if you're looking at that pro option, I mean, you're looking at $34 per single uh, and you're looking at $50 per album. But one big difference between TuneCore and CD Baby is um, CD Baby, it doesn't look like you pay a yearly fee to keep your album live. On TuneCore, you pay a yearly fee to keep your album live. So you pay $50 every year for that album plus your yearly TuneCore fee. CD Baby, it looks like if you release a song, you pay for that song once. If you release an album, you pay for that album once. And you just pay your yearly, you know, CD Baby price, which is dope, but still can get pricey. And uh, I've checked, I've used both CD Baby and TuneCore. And uh, I just went to Distro Kid once again, just because I release a lot of music. And I release, I'm releasing at least one song a month. And I want to just be able to upload it and, you know, collect my royalties off of that instead of paying every time I upload a song and paying every time I upload an album. But you should check out all three of those. That's DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby. Read up on all those. Check out my description on all those. The last but not least, we have Amuse. Now, Amuse is pretty interesting because it's 100% free. It's 100% free to release and distribute your music through Amuse. Now, I've never used Amuse, although I made a profile, but I haven't uploaded anything yet. I do want to try it out. My next release, I might just um, use Amuse just so I can make sure I get a better gauge of the service. But Amuse is interesting because it's an internet record label. So basically, they say it's free because they're already looking for talent anyway to sign to their record label. So allowing the free distribution is a way for them to have the data in their system and basically just track who's doing really well. So if there's artists who are getting a lot of streams on Spotify and a lot of streams on Apple Music, getting a lot of iTunes downloads, they can see that artist in their system and then they can just contact that artist and they actually look for artists to sign with Amuse. So if you release music through Amuse and you are doing well, you can actually sign to them. I've checked out their Instagram and I've seen some of their artists and they actually promote their artists. I don't know if they pay them, uh, um, in advance like a regular record deal or not um, I haven't looked into all those details but they will sign you and I think that's really dope now Amuse is backed by Will I Am um, which is you know one of the black eyed peas very famous singer rapper songwriter that was enough to get me to believe in the company I'll definitely release my my single and see how that goes and I'm gonna definitely check Amuse out more in detail let's see some of the things that they have to offer says how it works. You upload your music. You can actually track your success in the app. And if I didn't say that before, the dopest thing about a muse is other than it being free, you can upload, you can release music from your phone or your tablet or your iPad. You don't have to be sitting at a computer. You can literally download the app and release your music straight from your phone. If you have your music files and your cover on your phone and you can add the songwriter, the producer, um, all the credits, just like you would any other service, but you can do it on the go. So if you're on the move, on the move, if you're on the move, 
a muse might be something you want to check out man once again i have not used this service so i can't 100 percent vouch but from what i've seen it looks to be legit so yeah muse seems really legit man and they even have uh how we stack up against the competition so for the ones i talked about i talked about cd baby tune core and uh distro kid for commission cd baby takes nine percent tune core takes zero percent but it's 9.99 per year for your single and $49 a year for your album. Distro Kid, $20 a year, but you don't have to pay per separate release. Amuse, they take zero commission. It's free to upload your single. It's free to upload your album and you get a chance to get signed. And it says they also offer like in advance, like when you sign, so you can get signed like a regular record deal through Amuse. And that's, that's kind of crazy. I might have to look into that a little bit more. You might want to check out Amuse and also there's AWAL, which is A-W-A-L. They also, um, you can also distribute music through them for free, um, but they do take a 15% commission. But anyways, man, I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time. I just wanted to give y'all some options and let you know that you can distribute your music to these worldwide platforms and have your music everywhere for little to no cost. Like a lot of these are very, not even very, super affordable, $20 a year. Is nothing. So just really watch this video and also research each platform and pick the one that's best for you. I'm Eddie Knight. I'm out.